report from Amnesty International highlights a rise in global executions. It says 2015 saw the highest number of people put to death in 25 years. More than 1,600 people were executed in 25 countries. That's a 54% increase from 2014. More than 20,000 people were on death row by the end of 2015. Five countries accounted for most executions worldwide, but Amnesty says China has the highest rate. It believes China, which does not release these figures publicly, executed more than 1,000 people last year alone. Now, excluding China, nearly 90% of all recorded executions took place in Iran, Pakistan and Saudi Arabia. Amnesty calls the 2015 figures an alarming surge in the death penalty, which it says is pr profoundly disturbing. Well, for more on this story, we can speak to Chiara San Giorgio. She joins us now from London and is a researcher at Amnesty International. Uh, Chiara, good to speak to you this morning. So uh, just take us through what's behind this rise from Amnesty's perspective. Good morning. Um, there is no unique answer that you can give to this question. Uh, we see in some countries, such as Pakistan, um, in which the authorities have made a clear link uh, between their resort to the death penalty and uh, their response to um, threats to security and terrorism. Um, that, for example, uh, Pakistan resumed executions in response to the uh, Peshawar attack in uh, 2014. And since then, we've seen more than 300 uh, executions being carried out in a single year. Uh, for countries such as Iran and Saudi Arabia, it's uh, more difficult to uh, try to uh, speculate as to why the authorities have increased the use of the death penalty. We reported for uh, alarming increases in those two countries as well, by 30% uh, in Iran and 70% in Saudi Arabia. Uh, the link uh, um, between uh, the use of the death penalty and, uh, and crime uh, has not been established. There is no evidence that the death penalty would help uh, society be safer. Uh, yet we've seen that that appears to be an ongoing rhetoric in uh, the countries that resort to the use of the death penalty worldwide. And Chiara, are you seeing that uh, some countries that are using the death penalty uh, quite prevalently are actually using it as a way of uh, tackling dissidents within those countries? We've also seen uh, disturbing patterns in that sense. Uh, we've seen uh, countries resorting to uh, the death penalty to target uh, religious minorities, for example. Um, that was the case both in Iran and Saudi Arabia. But we've also seen uh, the death penalty being used as a tool uh, to suppress dissent. Uh, we are concerned that China continues to link uh, um, the use of uh, executions uh, and capital punishment to, for instance, uh, tackle uh, dissent in um, uh, Xinjiang, the semi-autonomous province, uh, uh, where uh, the Uyghur uh, minority is one of the big components of the population. Um, our response is the same. There are clear rules that have to be observed when uh, the death penalty um, has been worked by governments. Yet we've seen uh, clear prohibitions uh, being violated every time, and uh, we've seen uh, hundreds of executions being carried out after seriously unfair trials. And Chiara, of course, this is the kind of report that unfortunately we see uh, every year. Uh, Groups like Amnesty often protest uh, these kind of figures, but it seems like little can be done to put pressure on governments responsible. Uh, what is being trying to be done by the international community to try and stop this sort of thing happening? Uh, indeed, we are seeing an alarming increase, uh, yet uh, we also see positive news coming out of 2015. We've seen that um, former countries abolish the death penalty for all crimes and that the majority of the world is uh, starkly in favour of uh, moving away from the death penalty. Um, raising awareness about how the death penalty is used, uh, about the alarming increase in number of executions is definitely a first step. We are still confronted with uh, huge challenges in uh, uh, achieving information and uh, gathering information on the use of the death penalty in uh, the big executioners as well. Um, so um, there are uh, intermediate steps that can be pushed, including by uh, those countries that have been abolished the death penalty. The death penalty is a human rights violation and it's down to all of us to uh, push for change in this area. Absolutely. Well, uh, Chiara San Giorgio, we have to leave it there, but thank you for joining us on uh, TRT World. Thank you.